beloved this is day 20 but it is part 2 of day 90 my name is Gertrude Jurassic Payne and there are 20 of these videos I will beseech you by the mercies of God that you will go and watch it from day 1 because I believe that there is something that you should learn out of all of this in the mighty name of Jesus so yesterday I was talking to you about the mindset of Joseph and how God being with him but then he also had the mindset to be able to bring him where he was there is something else that I want us to pick on because we realized that as time went on that Potiphar acknowledged and realized that since Joseph set foot into his house everything that Joseph did began to succeed and so Potiphar then went and promoted Joseph to become his personal assistant and guess what he did he placed everything in the hands of Joseph he says Joseph you can be in charge of everything in my house by the exception of my wife can men see that the Lord is with you it's my question for you today what is in your life that displays that God is with you what is it that is in your life that shows that you are somebody that carries the anointing for fruitfulness multiplication and increase because Joseph came as a slave Joseph came with nothing there was nothing for him to show that I have got this and I am this and I have got any wealth but it took no time because he had the right mindset God was with him he acknowledged God was with him he had the right mind mindset for increased wealth creation and promotion and even though it was not his family wealth even though it was not his family that he was working on he was working on for someone but it said that Potiphar knew that God had blessed him God was with him and that blessing was trickling down to him so can men see that God is with you one of the manifestation that, that the Lord is with you is the fruitfulness, is the increase and multiplication that is in your life. When Joseph showed up, everything changed for Potiphar. When Joseph showed up, the game changed for Potiphar. Potiphar's home and his property began to prosper. Whenever you show up, there must be an increase in the name of Jesus. Beloved, wherever you show up, there must be an increase in the name of Jesus. Wherever you show up, there must be fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. You've got to be determined and take this word in your spirit and say, wherever I show up, wherever I show up, wherever my feet would take me because my feet are ordered by God and wherever my feet takes me increased multiplication must begin to to be seen and a witness in the name of Jesus Potiphar's home began to prosper his properties began to increase wherever Joseph showed up there was increase if you can show up in a place things must begin to change and things must begin to increase the same way that when certain people show up in the place things begin to increase and things begin to multiply that's the same way that somebody can show up people can show up in a place and things begin to be destroyed and things begin to decrease and things begin to scatter so I want to tell you so that you will be aware of the people that you allow into your life the people that you speak you allow to speak into your life the people that you allow to sow words into your life because there are people that can show up in your life and things begin to be destroyed things begin to diminish things begin to scatter so be careful in the name of Jesus we are told that Potiphar put Joseph in charge of more his entire household everything he put Joseph in charge because he realized that Joseph carried the anointing for increase for multiplication and Potiphar realized that he will be the biggest full ever to allow Joseph to be in his house and not give him full access to nearly everything apart from his wife because he will be a fool if he wanted to have the multiplication and increase over everything and I have seen that whatever little I place in this boy's hand has shown progress significant progress I will be a fool not to put anything in his hand when you carry an anointing and a grace for increase and multiplication when you carry the mindset for increase and multiplication everywhere you go that you have been or day to go there will be an increase there will be a multiplication when you are in your parents house there will be increase and multiplication when you are in the pit there will be increase and multiplication when you are in Potiphar's house there will be increase and multiplication when you are in prison there will be increase and multiplication when you are in the palace there will be increase and multiplication when you are in Africa there will be increase and multiplication you are in a 
western country that will increase and multiplication you could be in the poorest part um, you could be in the driest part you can be in the desert um, and you will begin to multiply and increase because you've got a mindset for multiplication um, you've got God with you and you will begin to multiply they can take your wealth away they can take everything away from you but you've got the mind the mindset for increase the mindset for multiplication you have got it the grace for it the anointing for it you have got it so they can take all your earthly things away from you and you will conjure something out of nothing you will create wealth out of nothing because you have the mindset for wealth creation in the name of Jesus it is not about how many hours you work it is not about where you are positioned and whom you know it is about the mindset that you have it is about the mindset if you have the right mindset you allow God to download into your mind and you will begin to manifest those things in the name of Jesus all Joseph needed was to maintain the mindset of a winner. All Joseph needed was to maintain a victorious mindset. The mindset he took wherever. He took exactly the same mindset everywhere and that mindset began to see that he began to process. He took the mindset. That mindset is the lens through which he saw life. It's the lens through which he saw his future. It's the lens through which he saw his destiny. And he had that same lens and he looked at everything through that same lens and he was not gonna, going to allow anything to corrupt it. When you read Genesis chapter 38 verse 5. The day Joseph was put in charge of Potiphar's house and property, the Lord began to bless Potiphar for the sake of Joseph. For the sake of Joseph. For the sake of Joseph. The multiplication and increase is not just for you. It is not just for your household. It is not just for your family. It is meant to impact others. God wants to bless you so that you begin to impact others. And it will be an experience by others. It will be experienced for your sake and for your obedience. Others will be blessed through you. As the story went on, we later saw that Joseph was put into prison because Potiphar's wife told a lie about him and he ended up in prison. But even when he was in the prison, yet again when he was in the prison, he still had the same mindset. And we are told that he became the favorite of the prison warden and again he was put in charge of all the prisoners. And we are told that the warden had no worries because Joseph took care of everything. Joseph took care of everything. Joseph took care of everything. He had nothing to worry about. Joseph had the same mindset. I'm not going to be begrudged. I'm not going to be bitter. I'm not going to be twisted. I'm not going to be confused. I'm not going to allow bitterness or anything to fester in my mind. I will not give room to anything negative. I will just have the mindset. And because I carry the grace, I carry the anointing. I've got God with me and everything that God has spoken over me will certainly come to pass. We finally see Joseph promoted to become the second in command in Egypt in a foreign land. Beloved, in conclusion, I want to end this with the scripture in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for the good in order to bring about the present result to preserve many lives. This is still about Joseph. So Joseph, we know, those of you that know the story, what happens is Joseph then, whilst he was in prison, the king has a dream. And in that dream, the king needs an interpretation for the dream. And no one in the whole of Egypt could interpret the dream of, of the king. And the, we were told that the cupbearer of the king told him that when I was in prison, there was a young man in prison that could interpret dream. And he sent for, for Joseph at once. Joseph came, interpreted the dream. And they needed someone to be in command in, in the land of Egypt to fulfill the revelation of that dream. And the king said, there is no better person than the person that brought the interpretation to the dream. So he is then promoted from the prison to the palace. And he becomes second in command in a foreign land. And we are told as the story goes, there was drought that comes seven years after he, his promotion. Drought came into the land and the drought spilled over and even went as far as where his father and his brothers were living. And they, in the end, they had to come and look for him. They had to come to the land of Egypt to get food. And that is how they encountered Joseph and realized that Joseph had not died. And Joseph sent for his whole family. But this verse, uh, chapter, Genesis chapter 50 verse 20, after his father died, his brothers were afraid that Joseph will punish them for what they did did. They went to him and went to plead with him that he should not punish them. And, and Joseph said, come on, don't worry about it. As for you, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. God meant it for good in order to bring about this present result where it has saved the whole world. Because at the time there was famine all across Egypt and every other places, the neighboring countries came to Egypt to come and, and buy food. And now his family have stepped into abundance. 
So they meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. But guess what? He never changed his mindset. He knew what God had spoken over him. Joseph's mindset was never shifted from what God was doing, despite his environment and the people around him changing. Even though all of those were changing, his never changed. He chose that it would never change because you cannot dictate what God is going to do in my life. And I will not let the environment dictate what God is going to do in my life. And I will not let what you say and what is happening in the environment change my mind mindset so that I cannot hear from God and cannot receive from God and cannot experience God to the magnitude that I have to that it derails me from everything that God is saying he maintained the mindset to the end beloved maintain the mindset if you've got the mindset for increase for promotion for acceleration for fruitfulness maintain it if you don't have it beloved we've got to pray tomorrow I'm encouraging you to come and pray with me we're going to be praying. I'm going to put a declaration together tomorrow and you will prophesy it over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless you and keep you. And may you continue in the faith in Jesus' name. Amen.